Hello, welcome back to Tech It. So, last time we made the alloy furnace, which is there. Um, there's a few things I want to make that we haven't actually done yet, which, you know, I kind of forgot about that are basic things. Um, so, we're going to go back to basics a little bit. So, we're going to make a jetpack first thing. Then I want to get to make a destruction catalyst and a divining rod. Um, the, you know, divining rod can wait to the next episode if it needs to, but... Um, so to make a jetpack, you need to, an advanced circuit. I've got an electronic circuit, so we'll just uh, make this into an advanced one. Uh, two lapis, two glowstone, two redstone. Uh, so there's just four redstone, sorry, not two. Okay. So I think we'll start using the crafting bench three as well a little bit more. So it's pretty badass. Um, so there's that, and then a couple of things that we had before. So the bat box, uh, some iron, and two glowstone. Always make sure you've got one of each item, so you can use a condenser if you need to. Um, so. Circuit goes at the top, back box below, two iron, two glowstone. Hmm, is it to refined iron? Yes, it is. Always the way. Try that again. So, the good thing about this jetpack is it's electronic. So we charge in the MFE. The um, quarry takes a hell of a lot of power as well. It completely drained it before I started this video. So I've uh, stopped that for now. Uh, so we'll let that charge up. And we'll start making the... Actually, it's, we'll wait for this to charge before we do anything else. Because I can show you how it works. Okay, so take that out. Equip it to your chest plate. Now you'll see it's on your character. Strapped around. And then to use it, just press space. Now there is a height cap of 85. Um, and what you can do when you're in midair is press M. And this will basically slow down the uh, the jetpack so you can land safely. Thought it was M. There you go. So you so you, know, you go down a lot slower. So I'm not pressing anything now. So. You're down, you get down safely, um, and you can be sure you charge it when it's low on power, so it's very cool. Uh, so that's that, it's gonna be very ha helpful for getting out of tricky situations. Uh, next, we're gonna make a destruction catalyst. Now, we need quite a few things for this we need some alchemical coal, which we need the philosopher's stone, um, we're gonna need some sand, we're gonna need gunpowder. Um, yeah, gonna need quite a bit of coal. So, um, to make the um, Mobius fuel, you need to make alchemical coal to begin with. So, what you do is you take the philosopher's stone and you put some coal in the crafting table. Doesn't matter where it goes, it works anywhere. And, uh, I'm going to need 12, uh, I think, in total. So you can change this with VMC as well. So you can do that. Um, then you need to take the alchemical coal and do the same thing, which gives you Mobius fuel. So let's 
three of those. Okay, um, we can uh, get some with the energy condenser. So that's four. Uh, a bit of uranium. It's got massive EMC value. There we go. Uh, 12 of those, I believe. Uh, I'll leave that in there for now. Um, so, what we do is we make some TNT. We're going to need to commute uh, energy contents a bit of gunpowder. So, we're going to need. Uh, we'll just use five for now. And we're going to need some sand as well. Uh, Actually, four pieces is enough. So we're gonna make some TNT. Sand in the corners. Uh, no, that's not right, is it? No, I've got it the wrong way around. Like that. One piece, and we can just transmute it. We only need four. So we don't need a lot. Okay, and now we take the TNT, combine it with the Mobius fuel, that gives us two Nova Catalysts. Now we need four of those, so you just click it twice, so we've got a few spare. Um, it's This is like pretty much a nuke, so do not place this down on the ground and set it off by any redstone current, because you will explode everything to hell. Um, so just a warning. Okay, um, so we're going to need to make a flint and steel as well. Uh, we should have one actually. We've been to the never, so there we go. And to make this um, I need a few, th uh, a few things together to do this. So uh, we're going to combine Mobius fuel top, bottom, left and right. The Nova's in the corners. Flint still in the middle. Destruction catalyst. Cool. Um, you can charge this up by holding M, I believe it is. No. Oh, there we go. Uh, v. And you can decharge it by holding E and then pressing V as well, I think. Ah. I didn't want to do that. Um, so, yeah, that's what that does. <laughs> I don't want to do that either. Um... So yeah, you can see what that does. <laughs> uh, is it shift? Yeah, shift and V decharges it. So um, I'm just going to uh, clean up this hole and uh, come back in a second. <laughs> so um, I managed to fix that hole up. But yeah, don't use the destruction catalyst if uh, you're just wandering around your house because it will blow it to crap. Um, so to use this, what you need to do is the following. If you use it decharged, which I'm going to do now just to show you, it will take a 3x3 three three block, but it'll only go one back. So if I can find a suitable area to just show you this, here we'll do. See, it takes a 3x3 three three area. And it leaves these like small ball things. These are poke, looks like Pokeballs on the normal texture pack, um, but they're basically condensed versions of all the minerals that you've just taken out. Breaking a few legs. So there you go. And then what you can do is hold press V once. Now it will take like three sections back, so let's try this. There you go. Three layers. So I'll pick up this pick up this. Stuck in the web. Peter Parker, let me out. Alright, okay. Um, so, yeah, here's a good area. And then if you charge it up again, it will do nine. Okay, and then this is the mental one. If you do it again, it will take out the same amount I did in my house, which is like 16. So, there you go. 
We've hit our ravine, which is pretty cool. Now, you can mine straight down with this. It takes an average of three shots to get to bedrock. Um, the torch isn't working very well, is it? There we go. Um, Peter Parker, god damn it! Um, so, let's go this way. See, and then you pick up all of the stuff. So it's really easy to use. Um, so yeah, Shift and V to do charge. A three radius is good if you just want to do a bit of mining. It's very easy to use. So let's have a go at getting... It does use some Mobius fuel as well, by the way, guys. So you need to have that in your backpack. Need to mention that. Um, so let's go mad and let's go straight down. So this is the power. Have it going straight down. So this is the thing you need to be careful of when you do this. And then we'll uh, decharge it all the way. So we can just get this. Oh, that was nasty. Um, ow. Stop hurting me. There you go, pick up all the stuff. Uh, it's very easy to mine stuff with. Even more easier than the uh, mining laser, so, you know. But it's, it's totally up to you how you want to mine. It's your own world, so you can be the judge. Yeah, it's very easy. So that's very simple. Get it all sorted. Easy to get with walls. Uh, charge her up. And you want to go down one layer. Uh, what layer are we on? Just for 13, so we're not actually that far. Right now, let's go along and see if we can't find some diamond. So let's charge her up, charge her right up. Now the thing is, you know, lava is a very dangerous thing, so you need to be careful. done it again so just be careful um, guys <laughs> very dangerous but tech is a dangerous uh, environment so just take just take care with your stuff <laughs> Unlike I was there. Let's try and get rid of this. There we go. Cool. So we've actually run out of Mobius fuel now, but it seems to still go, so whatever. Let's just keep going. Inventory space in a minute. So 
This just shows you the amount of ores that are actually in Tekkit. Ridiculous amount. Um, so I think what it's doing now is getting rid of the crappy stuff. So like stone. Stuff that's not very important. You know. So that's quite good. Um, so it just makes it, you know, it sorts your inventory out a little bit. Because you know, no one wants a, just a crap ton of cobble. It's absolutely pointless. I've been here before. It's my strip mine. But we've just, you know, smashed through so much stuff. That this is where we've got to. Now we've actually got too much crap. Cool. So there's our strip mine. I've pretty much just obliterated it. Um, there you go. So that is the destruction catalyst. Pretty badass. Our jetpack is going good as well. Ah, this is a new ore we haven't seen yet. This is tungsten. Oh, we'll get into that later on. There's another gem there, another one there. Coal. Can never have enough coal. So many uses for it. Uh, so yes, I will make my way back up to base, and I will see you all in the next episode where we we'll make a uh, divining rod. Which makes it very easy to uh, find your diamonds and stuff. So it's a nice little uh, handy tool. Puts the conveyance dust to use as well. Um, so I'm going to try and negotiate my way across this. Uh. No! Um, so yes, see you all next time. <laughs>